Back when the P25 standard was written, the original authors had envisioned the standard to be broken into three parts. Part one was mandatory. Mandatory was envisioned to be just that. If you wanted to be P25, this is what you had to do. Standard optional said, you didn't have to do these things to be P25 compliant, but if you chose to do them, you do them in this way. And then there was manufacturer's initiative. The original authors had provisioned for manufacturer's initiative by allowing each manufacturer to have a signature. And what each manufacturer does is they sign each feature that is coming across the air. And they told everybody to say, if, if you recognize the signature and you have that feature, act on it. If you do not have the signature, you do not recognize the feature, ignore it, do nothing, but you still maintain P25 standard connectivity with both the mandatory and the standard optional features you have. Proprietary is not bad. Proprietary or manufacturer's initiative is about innovation. It's about differentiation. It's about exploring what's useful and what's not to the user public. Now, manufacturer's initiative, Motorola has used it in many ways. Some of our manufacturer's initiative features have actually been rolled back into the standard. Dynamic regrouping is one example of that. Also, most of our key management implementation eventually became rolled into the P25 standard. So manufacturer's initiative or proprietary features allows us to innovate, to differentiate, and to explore new features, new operations, new functions that could be useful to the population in general.